Hi, it's Karen from 50 This is the New 50 blog. And as promised, I was asked to do a tutorial for the Lashify um, Home Lash Kit for lash extensions that you can do at home. And I went ahead and purchased the Lashify Control Kit. It's $145, and I'll go ahead and give you a show here. Um, it comes like this, and the Lashify Kit is includes it includes two sets of the gossamer glass uh, lashes, excuse me, and the fusing uh, wand. It comes with the bond glue, and it comes with the sealer, and then also it comes with uh, these little um, cushion things that you put on the um, the wand to do the fusing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I uh, am learning and starting out with the uh, Lashify Home Lash Extension Kit. Um, in my first kit, I got the Bold Gossamer and I got the um, B14s. They come in uh, 14 and 12s. And they're pretty long. Uh, the 14s are super long and the 12s are a, a nice medium. So right now, I wanted to show you that this is... Uh, my lashes with nothing on them. Um, they're pretty light, uh, pretty small. And then this is just my eyes done up with regular mascara. So um, I thought it would be fun to kind of show you the difference here between just a mascara and um, my eye without any makeup. And then once we get started, I will put the lashes on and we'll see how they go. So the first thing we're going to do is you apply the bond, which is this whisper uh, it's called Whisper Light uh, Flexible Bond, and this one's a dual bond. It's got both a white adhesive that dries clear, and then this one also comes with a black. So if you have really light lashes or you want more of a um, mascara look already before you even start, you can actually use the black. Um, I'm going to use the white so that we can see it. And one thing I learned watching some tutorials is that I was having issues with my application is because I wasn't putting enough adhesive on. I was only putting it along the base of the lashes. Yes, you're supposed to do that, but um, actually I wasn't getting them all over. So it was suggested that you get some of these uh, disposable type mascara wands, silicone wands, and I got these off of Amazon. I think you get like a 50 pack for like $6.99, so I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just um, add some of this adhesive to the mascara wand itself and actually use it like, um, let me go ahead and put my hand down there. It's going to be a little tricky for me to see because I'm in my art room um, trying to get some natural light here, but I'm applying it to the underline of my lashes. I'm going to focus mostly at the base of the lashes. And you don't want to overdo it, but you need to get enough on to where the lashes will stay. And supposedly, you know, people are wearing, ladies are wearing these lashes for up to five to seven days. With the right technique, the right um, application, and the right care. So I'm putting on the adhesive into my lashes. And then you want to go ahead and let that dry. You want to let it dry. Let's see if I can adjust the... The brightness here I don't know if that's going to help but you want to let it dry you can um, just kind of fan it a little bit they actually sell a little tool called blow that you can blow on there but I'm just going to fan it a bit the neat thing is, is that you actually apply this adhesive underneath your lashes and you're actually going to apply your lashes from underneath which is the big key um, I cannot apply the uh, false lashes that you get like at Ulta and at the, at the department stores where you apply them from above. And the neat thing is, is that these lashes actually come in little pieces. So if you can see this here, they actually come like that. And they come in a little set like this. Let's see if this helps, if you can see them at all. Can you see them? So I ended up reordering a second set. These are the curl, and these are 12. So I thought what I would do um, is I would mix the bold gossamer b12s with these curl c12s and we'll see how that goes so i think on the outside i will start with the um longer b12s which are what these are let me show you here so you can pull them off either with your fingers or with your wand and so they kind of look like this 
Isn't that fun? And they're already pre-curled and they're already cut. And what you do is you actually just put them on underneath. So they're supposed to just kind of grab on there and attach. Just like that. So this is going to be a little tricky for me because um, I'm not in my bathroom with my big mirror. So I'm going to go <laughs> back and forth. Now that doesn't even work either. But they go underneath and they attach here. We may have to move it. I may have to do this in the bathroom. So I'm going to do kind of what they call a lash map where I'm actually going to take the longer B12s on the outside. So here's another pair. I'm going to just take them here. And they're already kind of pre-curled. And I'm just going to go right along there and just kind of overlap a bit. And they just kind of grab right on. So that's a good sign. When they grab on like that, that means that you actually have the right amount of adhesive and it's tacky enough to adhere. Oh, yeah. I'll give myself a little eye lift there. <laughs> so already you can kind of see just how easy they are to adhere. And I think as we go along, you can put these on to do the fusing. These are like those little cushion. So I guess they suggest these for beginners. I've been using them on and off. But if you fuse as you go along, that really helps the lashes adhere to your, the lashify lashes to adhere to your natural lashes. And so you're fusing as you go along so that you get them to stick. So I've done two of the B12 on the outside here. I think I'll just go one more. Why not? We'll do one more. And then I'm going to switch to the curls. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stick that one. And you do not want to get it into your waterline. That was the other thing that I was having issues with is that I was getting too close to my waterline. I wasn't actually adhering them right above the waterline where um, into the lash line itself. So again, you can see I'm a beginner here. I'm a learning. So I've got three of the B12s here. You can turn these this way here to do a little fusing right into the lashes. And I guess the more fusing you do, the better. So already you can kind of see. So I'm going to switch over now to the curls. These are the C12 curls, and we're going to go ahead and grab some of those. Grab one off of here. It's easier for me to grab them out, take them out with my fingers. And then we're going to kind of just overlap. And again, it should just grab on and it should just start to attach and adhere like that. And do one more and one more right along there just underneath from underneath boy it is hard in here without having my magnifying bathroom mirror which I may have to go get okay so you have time to adjust and I think I need to adjust on that one a bit and then you take these here and I'm gonna fuse them I like to fuse them backwards. I don't know why. I have a harder time doing it this way, but you can use it. It actually is the shape of your eye, so you can actually go over the lashes and do it this way too and fuse them right into your natural lashes. So I'm just giving them a gentle squeeze, just trying to fuse them in. All right. So again, I'm not in front of my magnifying mirror, but here's my um, eyelashes just with mascara. And here they are with some B12 and some C12 lashes on them from Lashify. So pretty simple. I mean, really easy. I can then go ahead and put some mask, uh, put you know, shadow on if I wanted to put a little liner on. I can put some mascara on my lower lashes. But I don't know. What do you think? I've got. I think a big difference. I think I see a big difference there. And even standing back, sitting back, you see a big difference here. Actually, let me adjust the lighting a bit. I don't know if that's a little easier to see. So then I guess the last step, definitely want to fuse them. Let's just fuse them a little bit more. I guess the more you fuse them, and then if you sleep in them, you want to fuse them before you go to bed at night, fuse them again in the morning, and then also fuse them after you get out of the shower. And you definitely want to be really, really careful when you're removing your makeup from the previous night. Um, 
that you avoid, re you know, removing the adhesive, that you don't rub on them too hard. But if you put them on right <laughs> and you adhere them right, they're actually supposed to last and you can wear them for, you know, I've, gals are saying they wear them for five to seven days. So the last step is to grab, well, let me see, I'm reading my notes here. This is the simple, or this is the seal and finish clear coat. And I guess if you put this on underneath, it actually instantly kind of removes any adhesive and seals those lashes and instantly kind of clear coats and removes so that this, if there's any adhesive, they won't um, stick to your bottom lashes. Um, so I think they're really fun. I think they're super easy. Um, I'm excited about them. I'm glad I got the C12s. Um, there's C10s, I think. So this is, there's Curl. There's Bold, that's kind of like the mascara look. There's the Gossamer Amplify, which are super, um, kind of maybe for late night, date night. Um, B14s and B12s. And then you can even go down to a B8 if you just want some to layer. You can actually overlap them if you have really thin lashes and you want them to be, um, to look thicker and fuller instead of length. But I wanted some length, and I really think I like this combination of the B12 and the C12. Um, I didn't go all the way in. I kind of left this spot undone. I think I am more comfortable without having them, but they don't bother me. Um, so anyway, I hope this <laughs> was helpful. I'm a beginner, um, and who knows? Please leave some comments. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong or if you have some better tips for me. But I'll leave some links here. Um, to Lashify and I have a little code that you can use to get $20 off your um, Lashify control kit so instead of $145 you can get them for $120 and I just think that um, I think they're worth it I do I'm excited about it um, you can use them over and over again um, you can put them back you just put them right back into their little little case there's little slots here where you can just store them back in there and um, I'm going to try to, you know, I'll take these off, um, this mascara off here and actually put a different, put the matching set on. And I'm going to try to, you know, sleep in them, try to make sure, see if I can wear them for four or five days. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. Thanks so much. I'll leave all my links um, attached to this video. And please feel free to message me, uh, direct message me. I can always send you a direct link to Lashify with my code. Um, I also have that code for the $20 off um, in, the, in the link in my bio that takes you to my all links page, which is kind of fun. It's on my blog. It's links to everything about 50 is the new 50 blog. It takes you to... Uh, a page on my actual blog, the real blog, <laughs> where you can get to my newsletter, you can read my blog, you can uh, shop my outfits that I show on Instagram, and if I have any savings or discount codes, that's where they're all at. So thanks, you guys. Have a great weekend, and please message me. I'd love to hear your feedback, and if you use the Slashify kit, I'd love to hear from you also. Thanks so much.